What's up, YouTube fellas? Today is August 25th, 2015, a Tuesday. I'm here in Morrisville, Pennsylvania. Ha, ah, there you go, huh? You have a little nice diagram of different species of fish there. Very cool. I thought that was really neat. Anyways, it is my first time down here in Morrisville, Pennsylvania. Today I'm going to be exploring the known tidal Delaware River around this portion of the city. So, all right, let's go up. This is my first time here, never been here before. Let's check this place out. The known tidal. Wow! Ha <laughs> ha! So, my good friends recommended me this place. This looks awesome, folks. This looks freaking awesome. All right, so it is my first time down here. That's the Route 1 bridge that goes to New Jersey. That side is actually New Jersey. Wow, this is amazing. So, okay, so uh, I'm gonna be waiting today the non tidal Delaware River. Uh, I plan to turn this video into a multi species video, meaning catch four or different species of fish. I see that these areas here are very shallow. Here, I'll point the camera a little bit down. These areas here are pretty, pretty shallow, which means I, I'm gonna be able to wade all the way to the middle of the river. There are a, uh, a few current breaks, hopefully a couple areas that get a little bit deeper. Wow, it's looking good. It's looking good so far, folks. So, all right, I'll keep you all updated on how we do here today. Hopefully, I'll be able to show you some fish. All right, folks, I'm here with my brother-in-law today. He just went up to get his pair of sunglasses. Uh, let me set up my stuff here real quick so I can show you what I will be using today. To tell you guys the truth, my setup is not very different from my two last fishing sessions. So if you guys have been watching my videos, I'm pretty much using the same gear. All right, so let me give you guys an overview. All right, as always, my Shimano Symmetry 4000 FL with my new rod, the St. Croix Avid Pearl, medium light. Okay, 12 pounds Berkeley Vanish fluorocarbon line. And for starters, I'm going to tie it on a 164 ounce jig head with a little gold minnow. Try to catch a couple of smaller species of fish. Then I'm gonna move on to some game fish. Right now it's about 5 p.m. So, you know, we're gonna be here probably until sunset. I'm not sure. That's gonna be a good time for the smallmouth bass and whatever other species are around. As you guys can see, you know, there's plenty of structure here. There's plenty of current breaks, which is awesome. Hopefully it is just a little bit deeper in the middle. So the fish are, you know, focused on that area. All right, let me tie the stuff on. Hopefully I will have some fish to show you guys. All right, first fish of the day, what we got here. Okay, a bluegill. Whoa, whoa, no, 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 no. You're not going anywhere, buddy. You are my first ever bluegill from the known title Delaware River. Can't just let you go like that. No way, as small as you are, first documented species, right? So there you go, fellas. First fish of the day, okay, bluegill, little bluegill from the known title, Delaware River. Fish on, what we got here. Oh, okay, just another small, very small bluegill from the non tidal Delaware River. So I'm not gonna attempt to catch other species over here on this little, on this little uh, pool of water. I just gotta move on 
and see if there are any other species around. All right, second fish on. Second species of the day. Let's see what we got here. We got a really good sized red breast sunfish from the known tidal Delaware River. Wow, this is actually a really nice fish. So let me take a photo of this guy. This is a big one for a red breast sunfish. There we go, another nice photo here. Lepomis auditus. Mostly commonly known as red breast sunfish. Long flap, orange, kind of yellow belly, dots on the side with blue marks on its face. All right. Oh, oh all right, buddy. All righty. Ready to release it. Yeah. All right. Second species for the day. Oh, what we got here? <laughs> Third species of the day. A very, very small largemouth bass. Aha, okay. Smallest one I've ever seen <laughs> from this place since it is my first time. So that's the excuse I use. All right. Oh, come on, give me back my gold pino. Yes. All right, there we go. A little largemouth bass from this place. Miniature sample. But as I like to say, you know, when you find small ones like these, it means that natural reproduction for the species is going well. So it's always a blessing to see that they are actually reproduce, reproducing finely and nicely around here. All right, that's the species number three for today. Only one more species to make this video, to turn this video into a multi-species video. Hopefully we'll be able to catch something else. Aha, yes sir, got species number four for the day, beautiful pumpkin siege, all right, Lepomis gibosus, yeah, bluegill, red breast sunfish, and pumpkin siege, this is actually the one species of sunfish that I missed in my previous two videos, both in Runnymede and at the Pine, Pine Run Reservoir, all right, check this out, finally. Yeah, this is the last sunfish that I couldn't catch the past two fishing sessions, all right? One view, one last view of this fish, Lepomis gibosus, pumpkin sage. Four species for the day. This is officially a multi-species video, and I hope I'm not nearly done. I haven't caught a smallmouth bass yet. I haven't caught a small striped bass. I haven't caught any channel catfish. Hopefully I will be able to land some more stuff for you guys to see. What is this? <laughs> Brother, uh, species number five of the day. Right? Right, there we go. Species number five for the day. Oh, ho, 
things that you don't see when you stay at home. Someone, once upon a time, got his lure stuck here. Whatever this lure just was, this is definitely something that you don't see when you stay at home. Yeah, well, anyways, whoever one lost this lure, this lure is mine now. So, gotta put some coke or vinegar on it later, you know, and see how it cleans up. So hopefully, it will clean up nicely. Yeah, there we go. Da -da -da -da. All, right, let's... All right, folks, I'm still fishing here at the known title Delaware River. Turns out that the place is overall quite shallow which is pretty unfortunate you know there was a little deep area that you guys saw me catch all the different types of fish and that's pretty much it that's like really the the only productive area around here so i'm a, i'm a little bit bummed there were two other folks who came here let me get let me give you guys a view by coming by going up this rock here there were two other guys who came here and they're fishing right by the bridge you guys can see it you know, but like I said, you know, man, you gotta wait a lot to go there. They're giving a couple casts here and there. I haven't seen them pull any fish out of here, you know, so I don't know. Overall, pretty shallow. You guys can have a view of this place. Now, undoubtedly, there are some nice smallmouth bass here, okay? Well, I'm, I'm saying there, I'm sure there are some nice smallmouth bass here. But again, you know, for a multi-species angler, I already caught my share. You guys saw that little one. That's all I need, really. <laughs> I don't need anything bigger than that. So yes, I don't know what I'm gonna do now. There, are, there have been no signs of catfish, and that's pretty much it. Five species. I will keep fishing for a little bit more, see how it goes. But you know, if nothing else shows up, that's it. I'm gonna call it a day. Plus, you know, my time was very limited today too. Um, it's, uh, you know, we came here around 5 p.m. And right now it's like, what? My phone is in my bag, so I don't really know the time. Fish on. The Thomas, the Thomas fishing lures never disappoints, even though this is a small mouth the size of my finger. <laughs> All right, there we go. My crop turtles dolomio. The size, literally the size of my finger. All right. Yeah. Hey, what the heck is this? Yeah, fellas, things that you don't see when you stay at home. What the heck? Let me get this vegetation out a little bit here so you guys can actually have a full scope of what we are talking about here, all right? Things that you don't see when you stay at home, man. <laughs> what the heck? This is for a pipe or something, right? Like a metal, for a metal pipe or something. That's some weird stuff right here that I find in the middle of this river. Seriously. All right, fellas, final updates for today. I'm here in Mooresville, Pennsylvania, the known title of Delaware River. I've walked it up and down, saw plenty of spots. And I gotta tell you folks, most of this place is not deeper than three feet. So we got extremely lucky, as you guys saw at the beginning of the video, to find this deep hole right at this section of the river which is actually six to seven feet because that was the only place <laughs> that produced fish unfortunately everywhere else pretty shallow a lot of rapids a lot of current a lot of birds just not a lot of fish all right it's getting late it's almost sunset it's about let me see what times now 7 30 p.m i'm calling it a day so, all right, let's go home, get some dinner. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye, bye.
super shot. All right, chain pickerel. Oh, oh my God! Okay, fell on the floor, but it is a, it is a small chain pickerel from the Delaware Canal. All right, nice. Let me show you guys. Now he's on the grass, so he's good to go. All right, chain pickerel. All right, I'm done. I'm done. <laughs> I'm done mistreating this fish. All right, he already fell on the floor. Sorry? What is it? That's a chain pickerel. Are you gonna keep it? Throw it back? No, no, I gotta throw him back. I'm just taking a couple photos. <laughs> And he's going back to the canal. There we go. Good to go. Yeah, a chain pickerel. Yes. There we go, man. Senko, three inch. What's up? When you go fishing out here, what do you catch? That's the thing, nothing. <laughs> I, I haven't caught anything today, man. And it's my first time here, so oh, you know. It's first time, yeah. it sucks, huh? It sucks, yeah. What did they tell me? Some guy told me a certain spot, he said, you're catching me good, man. Uh, where was he at? I think it was right up here on the rocks. Is it, man? Well, I'm I walked not sure. there. I walked down there, man. The whole place looks like it sucks. <laughs> yeah. Have, have, oh, so it's your first time here. Yeah. But they say you catch a snapper, bluefish, or something like that. Um, I want to say catfish, but I don't uh -huh. think it's catfish. Snapper, uh, bluefish, huh? Yeah, That's what they people say. say? A lot of them. Yeah. Good. Oh, damn, dude. Yeah, big, big, big ones, big ones. Wow, well, all really, right, man, okay. Yeah, that's what I'm saying, so I was like, that's why I asked Snapper you, blues, huh? Okay. Yeah, uh, I'm pretty sure that's what he says. Snapper all right. Blues, said, uh, uh, okay. Um, I want to say catfish, but I'm not sure. But he named like five or six different fish that he's fought. Really? Five, six different fish different here? Fish, yeah. Big okay. ones too, though. Like, Big every, ones every, every single one he said, he was Wow, like, that's yeah, surprising, man. man. I mean, it's like, my uh, first time, like I said, like you know. 16 inch, 17 inches. I'm like, bro, I said, you know what that is, right? It's over uh -huh. a foot long. Like, yeah, yeah. He was like, yeah, yeah. He said, almost two feet long. I said, Wow, so that's what man. He said, he said the one I call is 28, 28 inches. I said, you know, I said two and a half feet, right? He was like, yeah. He's like, I'm telling you. So I said, because I see he's huh? like you, but he was about to go down on rock. Right, so right. I said, what do you catch out here? Like, you know, I like to fish from time to time. I'm getting older now. What can I? He said, yeah, man, I catch everything here. Like, you know, he said, especially around this time of season, something's pushing in from the ocean in here. Okay. Uh, what did he say? It was uh, uh, crabs. Crabs. Oh, so all right, man. It's napping blues and, just, uh, and crab here. Yeah, okay. Yeah, that's crazy, right? Got some bucket. So, Interesting. Yeah, well, luck, thank, yeah, yeah, thank you, man. Thanks good good for luck. letting me know, man. You have a nice day. Yeah, fellas. Things that you don't see when you stay at home. You folks heard the guy. <laughs> Snapping blues, like bluefish. <laughs> And uh, crabs bring their buckets here to the Delaware River, the known title Delaware River here in Mooresville. <laughs> Things that you do not see when you stay at home. This is why I always tell people before going anywhere, before listening to people, don't forget, brothers, primary sources and secondary sources, know the differences. You want to go with primary sources, all right? <laughs> See you next video.